I spent 10 hours farming herbs and minerals for juniper berry seed oils. I ended up making 860 mil. That's a meso rate of 86 mil per hour. Hey guys, welcome back to our free to play series and regular servers. In our last episode, we discussed our future plans for gearing and increasing our damage against bosses. To complement that, in this episode we will talk about how I currently make mesos and the meso rates for the methods. In my 10 hour session of farming for juniper berry seed oils, I found out that you make more mesos from brilliant dusk essence compared to anything else. Rounding in at 570 mil, this item contributed 66% of total profits. The second highest contribution came from juniper berry seed oils at 167 mil and 19%. The third highest was juniper berry seeds at 45 mil and 5% of total profits. The rest of the items sold were minuscule in price, but these few items were still worth a decent amount of mesos. These calculations were done with tax included. After farming for a long time, I can conclude that the best maps are Kerning Tower, Temple of Time, and Pardon Ruins, and I'll highlight a few sections of the maps that are worth rotating around. In alchemy, there are two potions that are in high demand all the time, the Wealth Acquisition and XP Accumulation Potions. The Wealth Acquisition Potion raises the drop rate by 20% while the XP Accumulation Potion increases XP gain by 10%. These potions are often used by players who train for extended periods of time, and since higher level players grind for several hours daily, these potions sell very quickly. To create these potions, we must first hit level 10 in the alchemy profession. This process took us two days to complete and luckily with the extra oils we had saved from harvesting herbs previously, we had enough supplies to cover all the potions for the leveling process. Next, we need the recipe and materials for crafting these two potions. Side note, both recipes expire after 24 hours. These recipes are around 8 mil, so that's a total of 16 mil to start producing the potions. The wealth acquisition recipe requires 10 juniper berry seed oils, 5 superior item crystals, and 2 philosopher's stones, and gives 3 potions in return. The XP accumulation recipe also requires 10 juniper berry seed oils, 3 superior item crystals, and 1 philosopher's stone, and also produces 3 potions. Wealth potions go for around 8.5 to 10 mil each in the auction house, but we will price them at 8.5 mil to sell quickly. XP potions on the other hand go for 8 to 9 mil each in the auction house, but we will also price them lower at 8 mil. After the 5% tax, that's 8.075 mil for one wealth and 7.6 mil for one XP potion. Since we make 3 potions per production, this means we make 24.225 mil in wealth and 22.8 mil in XP potion every time. Subtracting the cost for materials, that's 4.2 mil for wealth and 2.6 mil for the XP potions, giving us 6.8 mil profit every time we produce one set of both potions. With a 5 minute cooldown timer between production, this method nets us 6.8 mil per 5 minutes or 82 mil per hour. And now to increase the mesos per hour from the wealth and xp potion, we can combine this method with farming the herbs and minerals in the cooldown time between productions. This will decrease the rate from pure farming by 90% since we will spend 30 seconds every 5 minutes to craft the potions. This leaves us with 77 mil per hour plus 82 mil per hour from producing the potions, giving us a total of 159 mil per hour. Now there is a limit to how many times we can craft potions as each batch adds 5 fatigue points so every 5 minutes gives us 10 fatigue points this means that we will deplete our stamina in 110 minutes if we have 0 fatigue points we can accumulate 730 fatigue points per day 200 points from reset 460 from hourly reset and 70 from the infinite revitalizer in the event shop 
This means that we can craft 73 total sets of both wealth and XP potions, coming to a maximum of 644 million possible mesos per day from alchemy. In the near future, I will be doing more Tower of Oz runs, as I heard that that is a good method of making maces, and I would like to share my results when I am comfortably getting to floor 41 on it. So that's everything I want to cover. If I tell you take me 10 miles away Are you able to take risks for me, babe? I have to know if you like me or not, yeah I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.